Hello everybody, welcome to Matthew's Life channel. Today we are going to talk about fourth section of chapter one, which is 1.4 order of operations. Everybody, let's start with an example. The example is four plus two times three. Two same questions. Four plus two times three. Everybody, which one is the correct answer? Which are 18 and 10? Everybody, now let's start with an addition to add the number, then we multiply. Let's find it. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 and 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Now let's look at another same question which is 4 plus 2 times 3. First let's start with an mul multiplication. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 and 4 plus 2 is equal to 10. Everybody in mathematics we have just one correct answer. That's why there is an order of operations. So how can we find the correct results? We have rule. We have rule of the order of operations. We have first rule, which is if the operations same or similar, we work from left to right. Same or similar. What about same operations and what about similar operations? If you have addition or subtraction or multiplication or division in a question, just division, just multiplication, just subtraction or just addition, we call same operations. What about similar operations? In a question, if you have just addition and subtraction, or if you have just multiplication and division, we call similar operations. Everybody, now let's start with an example. The example is 100 minus 10 minus 20. How can we start to solve the question? First, everybody, we have minus, we have minus. These are subtraction. If you have the same kinds of operations, we cannot start from in the middle. We have to start from the left side. So we have number which is 100 on the left side. Everybody, let's see. So first of all, we have to subtract 10 from 100. Everybody, 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. Then let's continue. 90 minus 20 is equal to 70. 70 is the correct answer. Now let's see another example. Another example is... 36 divided by 6 times 3. How can we solve this kind of question? You have division and you have multiplication. Multiplication and division, as you can see, multiplication and division, these are the similar operations. If you have the similar operations, we work from left to right. So what number you have on the left? 36. We are going to divide 36 by 6. Everybody, let's see. 36 by 6 is equal to 6. Then let's continue to the left. From left to right. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. That's it. One more example to understand clearly. Everybody which is 40 plus 20 minus 25. Everybody we have addition and we have subtraction. As you can see addition and subtraction. These are similar operations. If you have the similar operations we work from left to right. What number you have on the left? 40. Now we are going to add 40 plus 20, which is 60. Then let's continue from the left. 60 minus 25 is equal to 35. That's it. Now let's talk about the second rule of order of operation. You need to follow the rule of PMDAS. What's PMDAS? PMDAS is a rule that shows you correct way to solve the question. P means parenthesis and M multiplication, D division, A addition, S subtraction. Everybody, first of all, let's see an example then explain well. Everybody, we have addition and multiplication. Addition and mult sorry, addition and multiplication are not similar operations. These are different kinds of operations. Because of that, we have to follow this rule. First of all, let's look at this one. Which one comes first? Addition or multiplication? Let's look at that one. P, no, you skip it. M, multiplication. Do you have multiplication? Yes. Because of that, we have to, we have to follow multiplication. Let's do it. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then we are going to add by 4. 4 plus 6 is equal to how many? You know, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. That's it. Let's see another example to understand well. Everybody, we have 
subtraction, division, and addition. We have three kinds of operations. We cannot solve the question from the left side because these are not similar. Because of that, we are going to look at the rule of PMDAS. We say PMDAS. Everybody. So, which operation comes first? P, parenthesis. Do you have any parenthesis? No. You skip it. Do you have any multiplication? No. You skip it. We have. Do you have any division? Yes. First, we have to follow division. 16 by 4. Everybody, what is 16 by 4? 4. Now, let's continue to solve the question. We have another new one. 44 minus 4 plus 9. Everybody, we have subtraction and addition. These are similar operations. Now, it's easy to start to solve from the left side to the right. Now, let's subtract. Let's subtract 4 from 44, which is 40. Then we have just one number is left, which is 9. 40 plus 9 is equal to 49. Now, let's see another example to understand well. The another question is 63 minus 11 plus 19 by 6 by 6 times 5. Everybody in this question, subtraction, addition, parenthesis, division and multiplication. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different things. This cannot be similar because of that we have to follow the rule of the PMDAS. Let's look at the here. Do you have any P? Do you have any parenthesis? Let's look at Yes, we have a parenthesis. We have to start first from it. Everybody, 11 plus 19. First of all, you have to add 11 plus 19 is 30. Now, we are going to write a new question from it, which is 63 minus 30 divided by 6 times 5. Everybody, subtraction, division, multiplication. 1, 2, 3. We have three different things. These cannot be similar. Because of that, we have to follow the rule of the PMDAS. Everybody, do you have any parentheses? No, we skip it. Do you have any multiplication? Yes, 6 times 5. We have to start first from multiplication. What is 6 times 5? Everybody, 6 times 5 is 30. Now we are going to write a new question from it, which is 63 minus 30 by 30. Everybody, minus, it means subtraction and division. We have two different kinds of things. These cannot be similar because of that we have to look at the PMDAS. Do you have any parenthesis? No. You skip it. Do you have any multiplication? No. You skip it. Do you have any division? Yes. We have to divide 30 by 30. What is 1? Everybody now just one thing is left. Let's write a new question from it which is 63 minus 1. Everybody, so we have just one thing to subtract. Let's subtract it. Is 63. That's it, everybody. So we have explained all the things about order of operation. Thanks for watching. See you next lesson.